quick trip away before the party at home. Zurich, the venue for the final warm-up before things heat up on English soil. Now Walsh. And across to that right-hand side where Daly is. And this might bring that to Russo, and it's going to break to Kirby! But for all the world, we would have thought England would take the lead there, but somehow denied. But what a great start from England. It's been on the front foot. It's another good switch of play from Kira Walsh into Daly. Good link play. And Russo alert inside the penalty area, and Frank Kirby should put that away. Good goalkeeping from Friedel. Excellent work by Russo. Through to Mead. It's really opened up for England here. Kirby is free, but it's him onto a weaker right. Straight to the goalkeeper. Even a wasteful earlier. Oh, what a great transition that was. Beth Mead doesn't get her head up quickly enough to play the ball across to Frank Kirby. What you get with Lauren Hemp is putting it onto a less favoured right foot. Still great break from England. I think it's the start they've needed. Something I haven't seen in the past two games. Greenwood played the ball where Hemp wanted it. And Hemp with a first time ball in. And that over the line. Stabbed towards goal by Rosso. England have come close in these early stages. And again, great wing play. It's becoming synonymous with this England team. Fabulous first time delivery. And Russo, I think, showing how lively she started this game. First to the ball. Here's Reutler, who England haven't been able to pin down. Batman likewise swings it inside of Gortovic. Couldn't get the header clean under enough pressure there. But they are threatening that England goal. Oh, absolutely, really good play. See Williamson here just constantly looking on her back shoulder. Does enough. Does enough to get a backward header on the ball or a shoulder out of play. Good play from Ramona Batman. Stanway this time for England. A low delivery, and at first it looked as though it wasn't the best ball of the world, but it almost worked out for Hemp. And Williamson, who's had so much time to play her passes, as switched and stayed tight in the midfield area. Picks the perfect pass again to Daly. Daly hangs it in there. Hemp is arriving, so it's Russo. What a finish! England find the opener. And Alessia Russo with that opener. They break that Switzerland rear guard with brilliant football. England in front of the start of the second half. That was exactly what we were talking about. Brilliant team goal once again started off by the brilliance out of the back from Leah Williamson with a crossfield pass to perfection at the feet of Rachel Daly. Takes it in her stride. Just lofts it to the back post where Russo eludes her markup, keeps her eye on the ball, and just cushions it into the bottom corner. Probably been England's most effective creator. But Walsh getting that ball wide now. Hemp wants the pass. It's Mrs. Hemp finds England. Top save by Bradley to make it. That's what I was talking about, with such good wide play, Toon getting involved, times it, just hits it in the one space. It was easy for the goalkeeper to cover, but really good from Beth England. Ball wide, Kelly now on the left-hand side. Here is Kelly. Brilliant feet. Hemp, all off the line to deny what would have been a brilliant goal. Oh, it's a penalty. It's a penalty in any case. England will get the chance from the spot to score a second. But just before that, that would have been a glorious goal again from Lauren Hemp, but not to be denied on the line. What a brilliant piece of wing play from Chloe Kelly. Really quick feet to get beyond, perfectly timed. I don't know how that's a penalty. I thought it was a push by Stanway. Nonetheless, take it. Trying to shut out the whistles. It's 
Stanway finds the corner. And England's 2-0 up now in this game. They've had another strong second half and a deserved lead. Now, oh, I think it's a deserving goal for him to score. And force the penalty really well struck, confident, decisive in step into the corner. So Stanway has just scored from the spot for England. Looking to turn provider here. Stanway to England. It's in, it's three. The Lionesses do find a way through from a set piece. Building confidence, three headers, one goal. This time, she goes straight through the ball. Good dummy from Chloe Kelly in front of the goalkeeper. And she catches it really well, hits it down. Kelly. Looking for Scott, perfect ball! And Scott repays the cross. With his fourth goal, a big smile on the face of Jill Scott. Another goal for her in her long England career. And a game in which England have finished their preparation with a flourish. I said it against Germany, they conceded five goals from crosses. Three today, if you include the corner. Well timed, got between the fullback, the centre back, and as I've said before, always performs for England. Tough of the cheeks from Jamali there. Well, preparation <laughs> done, and England in pretty good shape. A dozen wins for Serena Vigman, still without defeat, still with a defence barely breached. Just six days to go until the first of what they hope will be six big match days en route to a home at Euros title. And from what we've seen so far under Serena Wigman, they've got a pretty good chance. Final score from Zurich, Switzerland nil, England four.